my name is Kayla and we are going to be studying about Naomi today in 2 Kings chapter 5 beginning in verse 1. This whole series is regarding water and today we are studying about Naomi and what God did for him by means of water as well as the application that it has for us today. I hope you are encouraged by this lesson as much as I have been encouraged by preparing it. 2 Kings Chapter 5, verse 1. Now Naomi, captain of the host of the king of Syria, was a great man with his master, and honorable because by him the Lord had given deliverance unto Syria. He was also a mighty man in valor, but he was a leper. And the Syrians had gone out by companies and had brought away captive out of the land of Israel a little maid, and she waited on Naomi's wife. And she said unto her mistress, Would God, my Lord, were with the prophet that is in Samaria, for he would recover him of his leprosy. And one went in and told his Lord, saying, Thus and thus said the maid, that it is of the land of Israel. And the king of Syria said, Go to go, and I will send a letter unto the king of Israel. And he departed and took with him ten talents of silver and six thousand pieces of gold and ten changes of raiment. And he brought the letter to the king of Israel, saying, now when this letter is come unto thee, behold, I have therewith sent Naomi my servant to thee, that thou mayest recover him of his leprosy. And it came to pass when the king of Israel had read the letter, that he rent his clothes and said, Am I God to kill and to make alive, that this man doth send unto me to recover a man of leprosy? Wherefore consider, I pray you, and see how he seeketh a quarrel against me. And it was so, when Elijah the man of God had heard that the king of Israel had rent his clothes, that he sent to the king, saying, Wherefore hast thou rent thy clothes? Let him come now to me, and he shall know that there is a prophet in Israel. So Naomi came with his horses and with his chariot, and stood at the door of the house of Elijah. And Elijah sent a messenger unto him, saying, Go and wash in the Jordan seven times, and thy flesh shall come again to thee and thou shalt be clean. But Naomi was wroth, and went away, and said, Behold, I thought he will surely come out to me, and stand, and call on the name of the Lord his God, and strike his hand over the place, and recovered the leper. And not Abana and Parfer rivers of Damascus better than all the waters of Israel? May I not wash in them and be clean? So he turned and went away in a rage. And his servants came near and spake unto him and said, My father, if the prophet had bid thee to do some great thing, wouldest thou not have done it? How much rather then, when he saith to thee, Wash and be clean? Then went he down and dipped himself seven times in Jordan, according to the saying of the man of God, and his flesh came again like unto the flesh of a little child, and he was clean. And he returned to the man of God, he and all his company, and came and stood before him, and he said, Behold, now I know that there is no God in all the earth but in Israel. Now therefore I pray thee, take a blessing of thy servant. So in this account, you can see that in verse 1, Naomi had a skin problem, which is known as leprosy, which was easily a death sentence. However, you can see in verse 3 that the servant girl knew that the prophet of God could heal Naomi. Even though she was a slave, she still wanted good to be done for her master, which is an attitude that we must strive to have today. For us today, there is a huge lesson that we can take away. Today, we may not have a skin problem, such as Naomi had, but we have a problem that is much bigger that is known as a sin problem, and we must go to God to have it cured. In verse 5, we see that Naomi brought money with him to pay, the, to pay. But the remedy given to him in verse 10 was to go dip in the Jordan seven times. Today in society, many people are looking for great works that they must do to be cured of their sin. But we, much like Naomi, are given a simple command, which is to hear, believe, repent, confess, and be baptized for the remission of our sins. Also in verse 10, it is important to note that he was commanded to wash in the Jordan seven times. 
not one time, not three times, but seven times. The number seven throughout the Bible represents completeness. And so I think it's important to note that there's a reason why um, God chose that number, perhaps. In verse 11, we see his response where he is furious because he believed that some great thing must be done. In verse 12, we can see here where he is complaining about the dirtiness of the Jordan and is wanting to wash in cleaner rivers. For him, it mattered where he washed because God, through the prophet, gave him a specific command. However, for us today, we are not commanded to wash in a specific type of water, such as a specific river, ocean, etc. Um, God has commanded us through his holy word in the New Testament to be baptized, which means immerse in water for the remission of our sins. And this comes out of Acts 2.38. I think it's also important to note here that the earth is composed of 97% water. So God chose a means for us today to come into contact with his blood that is readily available to each individual on earth. In verse 14, we see that Naomi went and washed in the Jordan seven times and came out of the water healed. It is important to see here that he was not cleansed until he did exactly as he was commanded to do through the prophet by God. For us today, our sins are not forgiven until we complete all of God's commands, which are given to us and echoed through all of the New Testament. And like I said before, those steps of salvation are here, Romans 10, 17, believe, John 3, 16, Repent, Acts 17.30. Confess that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, Matthew 10.32. And then to be baptized in water for the remission of our sins, Acts 2.38. Much like Naomi, we must complete all of the steps in order to earn our salvation. It is not enough to hear and believe only. We must do the whole will of God in order to receive our salvation and to be pleasing unto him. In verse 15, after Naomi was washed in the Jordan and was healed, he realized that only God was able to heal him. Today, God is the only one that can heal our wounds and cleanse us from our sins. I am reminded daily that if Jesus can give up his life for me and my sins on the cross of Calvary, which I did not deserve at all, the least I can do is follow his will and become a child of his through the simple acts that he has commanded. I hope that you have enjoyed this lesson, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. However, I do want to leave you with this one question. Have you done what God has asked you to do to, begin a, to become a faithful child of God? Thank you for watching this lesson. And like I said before, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. Thank you.